Now open Google Chrome and type Blink Cloud and click on the first link which is blink.console if you are new to this website uh, uh, there would be two buttons login and sign up click on sign up and give your login details as I already logged in uh, it's directly taking me inside the website now go to templates click on new templates and then give the name as file edition or whatever your name you want and the hardware is ESP32 and uh, if you are using ESP8266 you can click on it and the connection type is Wi-Fi uh, description whatever you want you can give I am not giving anything and go to data streams click on new data stream virtual pin name is fire sensor data click on create and click on new data stream virtual pin and the name is virtual indicator click on create now go to events click on add new event and the name is fire detection and the type is critical now give the description as alert fire detected please take precautions to save your life or whatever message you want and the limit is every three messages will trigger the event event will be sent to users only once per one minute and enable the show event in uh, notification section of mobile and enable send event to timeline now go to notifications and click on enable notifications and the email to device owner push notification to device owner and enable the deliver push uh, notification as well and the last one enable notification management uh, the device owner is uh, the email id which you have uh, logged in now click on create now the designing of the app part is finished now let's start the coding click on Arduino IDE and this is the code for our project <coughs> and uh, in the blink template ID uh, blink template name blink art token you need to oh, I just forgot to save now click on save and click on search and we need to add new device click on new device and it will uh, open you three ways click on from template and choose the template as fire detection now click on create and after creating it will show you this uh, three things blink template id blink uh, template name blink or token now click on click to copy code and then paste this over this place and in the care ssid give your wi-fi's name and care pass give your wi-fi's password and if you scroll down in the 50th line there will be a line called bling.log event uh, in that you need to uh, type the event which you have created you need to type it correctly and this is the event's name you need to uh, copy and paste it here and now go to the tools and the board is ESP32 day module and the port is COM4 <coughs> Now click on upload, take some time to compile and it will upload fastly and when it comes to the end, click on the boot button
after it shows done compiling click on the boot button so that it uh, it would read the node mcu fastly e esp32 now the code is uh, uploaded successfully now we need to download the app and after the coding is done uh, this green light will turn on now click on the app store and type blink iot and the first tab appears which is blink iot click on install and it will take some time to install after installing click on open and uh, it will uh, take you to the devices and the fire detection will be in the front now click on the settings click on plus and add value display led god and super chart drag the super chart to the be uh, below and let me place this leds and the gods now click on the display and the data stream is fire sensor data now click on gods data stream is fire sensor data and click on led the data stream is virtual led virtual indicator and click on the super chart click on the data streams select data stream and the, choose the data stream as fire sensor data and the design style is i am going to uh, choose it as area and the color is r red now that's all Now the designing part of the app is also completed and the downloading part of the app is completed. Now let's see how it's working. Let me take a lighter. Uh, be careful while using your lighter so you can also burn your hands. See, you can see the messages. And uh, the mail will also come. Whenever you light, uh, light the IR, I mean the fire sensor the red light will turn on and the buzzer will turn on so if you are inside your home uh, you can listen to the buzzer sound and uh, you can turn off the fire but if you are outside your house uh, you can see this uh, message and you can go to your house and uh, take the precautions to save your life now you can see that the project is working very perfectly you can also try this uh, project and uh, this can also give you first prize in your science fair because this is so useful if, uh, if you are watching my channel for the first time please subscribe and uh, click on the like button so that it would motivate me to do more projects and comment down what project should i do next bye